Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video I will give you a quick look at Android on the Raja Rock 5B. And in my previous video I told you I had some problems with the HDMI out ports. And it turns out that the Rock 5 doesn't like my monitor or vice versa. So today I have the HDMI cable and so we're going to plug it in into the Lenovo tablet which has a um, HDMI in port. So I'm going to connect power and then it all should start working. And the first time I booted Android on the ROC 5B and it seemed it did a couple of reboots and you might think that it's stuck in some sort of boot loop but if you let it run for a couple of minutes then eventually you should see this that it's really booting Android And after a while, you should be able to start it. And it's a very, very minimal image. There's no Google Apps. Um, and I only did a quick test with Ether SX2. So here we have Android. So let's just use the Lightning browser. So let's just say we'll do the WebGL Aquarium test and we go to 5000 fishes. So at least um, there's no glitches as far as I can see. This is all running smoothly but unfortunately it doesn't hit 60 frames per second. But it does seem to be stable. And what I also noticed is that yeah well it says unsupported Samsung SD card. Um, that's in a way a bit funny because that's where it booted from so although it says it's not supported it's still good enough to boot and here it also says that the serial console is enabled and that might Im impact performance so looks like we got a let's just say developer Android image and I hope in the future that they will um, release a consumer Android image. As I said, I also installed Ether SX2. Um, I have the feeling that uh, we don't have the latest rock chip drivers. Um, feels like um, my Mikrotronics back in what was it again? April, I think. Uh, perhaps I'm wrong, but. Um, I have set it to two times the resolution um, going with the safe settings um, we're on the Vulkan driver and now yeah, already the the intro that's where you already see that it's sometimes struggling and at least with the Android images I think the ones from September or August 
from uh, Microtronics, then the performance is much better. Let's see if we can. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's boost the volume a bit. So the, the picture quality, that looks fine, but it's just that the performance is not what it should be, or at least what it should be in my opinion. And I'm using the latest monthly build of Ether SX2. And because this is the European version of Final Fantasy X, so that means that we're running at 50 Hz. And here with this text effect, you really see it dipping. As you see the um, frame rate going into red. You also perhaps heard the sound that it started distorting a bit. And well, the Rockchip RK three five eight H with the latest Rockchip driver should have no problem at all playing this. So. So I guess we have to hope that we'll get some more or at least uh, some updates on the Android images and of course also with the Linux image. Um, yeah, Again, the Android image currently is uh, very minimal, uh, no Google Apps, so you have to use an alternative app store. But the good part is, is that now you have the option between Linux and Android. And let's see when we get some more updates from Raja. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.